What's up guys? Welcome back to another Summoner Swamp video. Today we're playing with the Dark Phantom Thief Guillaume because we had extra skill up last weekend. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. He belonged to the glass cannon group that can protect themselves like Laika, Ogaro, Theo, Perna. This guy also has a passive that allow him to gain invincible effect if the enemy land a glancing hit and he increased the chance of receiving glancing hit by 30%. Surprise visit has two turn cooldown and stun the enemy. I'm running him on vampire revenge, speed, quick damage and attack. I try to get some extra HP and defense as well so that he won't die too easily. When he get an invincible effect, I may get some juicy revenge when people try to strip it or try to stun him and all that stuff. Alright, for the top round going in with Guillaume, immunity from front to protect myself and armor break from Bella to kill Amana. We have free to play doggo versus pay to win doggo. For the one below, I'm gonna go in with Figaro to take care of the immunity as well as the, what do you call that thing? Soul protection. Harsh Veil to puff attack and speed, meanwhile Anova will take care of the armor break department. With this, I'll be able to do enough damage, have healing for myself and strip to deal with the enemy shenanigans. We need attack buff, immunity, alright, we're starting, starting, oh, should I armor break now? Let's armor break. We have two light units to hit my Guillaume, we got the invincibility and the revenge and the one shot. <laughs> Look at that, we start out perfectly. Oh my god, that is strange, okay? This should never happen on a Sean B video. Armor break land again, stun. Come on, I have 10% accuracy. No stun, expected. Can I stun? No stun as well. Once again, 10% accuracy. But, all right, I'm gonna demonstrate Guillaume's second skill. We're gonna do this. We're gonna go with surprise visit, ignore the invincibility and stun the John as well. Beautiful damage, but we couldn't kill. Can't kill me, baby. Can't kill me with the invincibility effect. Hell yeah. I'm gonna, uh, good damage. I'm gonna finish off this John. And we have invincibility again. We forever we have invincibility. And you will never take oh my god, look at the lag, look at the lag. It's laggy. Guillaume is so strong, it's lagging the game for me. Feels bad. But we got this, baby. We got this. <laughs> so good, so good. Now, do I want to stun this early? I believe Figaro can pull off a strip stun. Watch this. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Figaro is the new Molong, I tell you. I tell you, Figaro is gonna be the new Molong. Armor break. We land armor break on the wind unit. How amazing that is. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna try and strip the thing. I'm gonna brand that thing too. Oh no, I need to sleep the Velajo. <laughs> oh my god, this game's so easy, baby. Come on, kill it. Almost, almost. Pop. Now. So protection. I have figure out to deal with you. I have no problem against your soul protection, but we gotta kill them quick. Because I don't want to prolong this fight. Stun? Oh no stun, stun the wrong unit. Feels bad. But the the Velajo didn't buff immunity, which is great for us. We're gonna finish him up right now. I'm gonna finish this thing off as well. Perfect. <laughs> oh my god. Love it. We start off on a good note. For the one on top, we can go with the same team again because similar concept, we have Figaro to deal with the immunity, Harshvel to deal with Theo, he's a very good damage dealer, and Anavol to take care of healing if needed, also armor break if you want to. For the one below, I'm gonna switch it up a little bit because we need that accuracy leader skill from Wusa. He's gonna hit Guillaume, and Guillaume's gonna pop that invincibility to protect himself. Easy clap, boys. Alright, let's start off with a good strip. Pop, pop, pop. Oh no, that wasn't a very good strip. That wasn't a very good strip. Urgh, that hurts! Easy <sighs> clap, boys. It's okay. Got this. I, I hope so. Gonna... Uh. <laughs> that did nothing, man. Oh my god. He could literally hit anything but my harsh veil. So smart. Alright, he got me, baby. Never mind. It's all about Guillaume. We're gonna do this. Protect ourselves. That Perna is too slow. Too slow. So, what do I want to do here? Do I want to go straight for the one shot on John? Should I? Maybe I should. Let me let me give it a try. If we get a good violent proc, I think we should have enough damage to kill this John. 
Oh, we don't get a violent proc. Okay, switch, switch it back. No glancing, no glancing. Oh my god, what the frick? Stun? Nice stun. Oh, it's not hitting Guillaume. <laughs> sleep is Perna, please. No sleep. So we gotta take out... Do I want to take out Perna right now? Because I have a very juicy target on the left. Let's not be greedy. Let's go for the target that can die. You know? Let's go for it. Kill it? Come on, baby. You do have enough damage. 12k? Not bad. <laughs> the Prana is so scary, man. So scary. Oblivion? Yes? Yes? Armor break? Yes? Alright, finish off. Oh my god, that was so scary. If I lose my boy to Saurion, we may be in some trouble. Now, let's finish off this retash. But that previous fight, maybe I could have gone for something more safe, yeah? Maybe I could have gone for something more safe. For the one on top of this one, I'm gonna go in with my high damage team. We're gonna protect ourselves with Chloe. Lucian will take care of Fangyan. Meanwhile, Kali will take care of Rakan. For the one below, here's the plan. My boy Guillaume is going to take a hit from this thing and I'm betting on the glancing hit so that I won't die. We have Okeanos to control them after that, armor break from Bastet, attack buff from Bastet and Okeanos can reset Perna and instantly kill it all as well. So it's going to be a very high RNG game for the one below and I love it. And I'm taking a chance. I bet on my Guillaume. Now we need to protect ourselves. Yeah, he's going to protect himself. I don't really care <laughs> protect ourselves and he's not taking a turn yet that is really slow my team has 180 speed ish oh no i was relying on the fact that rakan would have anywhere near 200 speed which means he's gonna move before my lucian but oh my god no <laughs> we're in some trouble boys we're in some trouble all right i can kill rakan after this i think and we can Try to take a few turns to kill Panda next. I don't think that's gonna be easy. Even though Panda's dying, but Wusa, that, that thing is scare me. Now I can't hit it because I can't risk getting ammo break on my Kali. I need him to hit my Chloe. And he actually saved my Kali. <laughs> hit it! Oh my god, now I need you to hit it so that you can wake her up because I need cooldown reduction, but no! Oh my god, that's so stupid. That's actually so stupid. Alright, protect myself. <laughs> what are you what are you doing to me? I can hit it now. I need one more turn for the for the ignore defense. With ignore defense, I can kill. Easily. No need attack buff. Should I need attack buff? Let's let's be safe, okay? I don't I don't wanna be dumb and, and hit and not kill. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna risk one turn. Not killing. Am I moving in between? Yes, I'm moving in between. We're gonna kill this panda. This is getting rough. This is getting rough. The Wusa is not easy to be killed with my Kali. It's my chance. Quick! Oh my god, that was. Wait, I was hoping he was faster, but no! This guy's not fast at all. I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Alright, we're gonna get ourselves a few turn here. But what do I wanna do? I don't want to kill him. I don't want to kill anybody just yet. I'm going to try and do some damage on Julian. He almost died. <laughs> I'm going to reset Perna. Okay. If he proc Violet, I'll be in trouble, but I don't think so. No, no, no. Ooh! Ooh! See that? Three hits. Three chances to pop the invincibility effect. Nowhere to be seen. <laughs> I got three chances, my friend. Oh my god. Feels bad. <laughs> Feels bad. <laughs> I could have I could have won. Maybe. Maybe. Wait, wait. Wait a minute. I can't kill. I gotta reset this this girl. But there's no way my Oki would do enough damage to this Julian before he kill me, right? Like I can do some decent damage here and there. But that just that's just not gonna cut it. The glancing debuff. I, I, uh, he kind of glanced, but <laughs> that's not enough. No, Guillaume! Damn it! All right, I give it to you. Get out of my sight. One L and D RTA of the day. New segment. You know, 
free to play RTA get repetitive after a while I use the same thing so we're gonna do one L and DRT today I think that's also quite interesting now I'm left with my perfect team my perfect team strip sleep single target good damage let me show you let me show you Figaro is the new Molong I, I will show you that Molong is a thing of the past and Figaro is the future. God damn it, so many will shield. <laughs> okay, we're gonna strip, stun. I mean... <laughs> Do you see how crazy that was? We strip stun three units through will shield, that's insane. That was some lucky move though, but I gotta say, it's so consistent. I don't find any other reason to use Molong over this guy. <laughs> oh no, he took my immunity! But you're sleeping anyway, so I don't really care. <laughs> I don't really care, but you can, you can have immunity. Um, who do I hit now? I can hit Bover. Okay, I can try and stun Bover with Despair Stun. He'll block, it's okay. He'll block good against this guy. He can try and do some damage on me right now, but... It doesn't really matter. I can stun your Ciara. You don't have any more protection for your team. I'm gonna try to stun your Ciara actually. She's swishy. She's gonna die. I'm gonna do this and stun you. <laughs> Look at that! Stun together with three turns slow debuff. It's freaking toxic. Cause you don't you don't get to move ever. <laughs> he got destroyed by my LD team, man. This is so fun. Like after I make my LD team, I have so much more motivation and interest in playing RTA because winning with these kind of team is just so satisfying. Don't you guys agree? It's so fun. <laughs> I'm just dominating this meta unit with my supposed to be lame team but they work just fine. Okay, I'm gonna... It's like picking Wusa, um, Molong and Hathor in a team. But now it's, it's L and D. <laughs> I don't know what can replace Guillaume, maybe Perna. So imagine in a normal team, this team would be Wusa, Molong, Perna, and Hathor. And it is as toxic, but this is much more fun and more unique. Am I right? And bye bye, Fangian. Easy win for the LD. I almost said free to play, but for the LD RT of the day. Love it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, smash the like button. I mean it, please. Smash the like. And <laughs> subscribe if you're new. I know a lot of people watch without subscribing. Okay? Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you guys in the next video as soon as possible. Bye!